Okay, we covered pasting into a selection. Now we're going to move on to copy and paste a refined selection to duplicate an image element. So for this one, um, I chose an image that might be a little more complex um, for at least the selection is. So I did the selection ahead of time. I used the lasso tool um, to do a loose selection of this image. So um, I'm going to let the feathering help um, do the refinement of the selection edge so then I can duplicate it as the additional image element here. Um, so um, again, I did the selection before with the lasso tool. It took me a while. I'm going to go ahead here and load the selection. Um, I named it leaf so it should be easy to find there and load. So there's the selection loaded. I haven't refined it yet and depending on how much um, uh, or, and you may want to experiment with this but when you um, modify and refine the edge and feather the edge you can choose as many as little or as many pixels as you like and that will just um, help smooth out that transition so it either will be less of a transition or more so you can experiment with this number um, depending on your image and what you have selected in your image to duplicate. Um, I'm going to use five. That seems to be a, a good amount of feathering um, for this case. And now with this selection, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste. So every time I just do a simple paste, um, it's going to create a duplicate and it's going to create an additional layer of that duplicate. You can see here um, that the rest of the layer is transparent, all except for the selection which has been duplicated. I'm going to choose my move tool here and pick that up and move it. So the cool thing about this and as you um, duplicate these image elements um, with this in place here we can actually um, modify this even further so I can duplicate this over and over again and just keep it the same and, as, and consistent as it is or I can choose to transform it and just add the same or similar image element in various positions, various sizes, so on and so forth. So um, with that modified, and you can see here that it actually, that feathering created a nice transition. So you don't really see an edge. Um, this background is allowing it to blend pretty well. And I can do that more. Um, I've got the selection active. Um, I can just continue to paste and modify each because it will each come up as a new layer here. Um, and I can modify by um, doing a free transform or a transform. So the free transform shortcut is a command T, um, and which is really easy to do just on the fly here um, to duplicate this image element. And you can do this as many or as little times as you like, but the point um, with this part of the skills practice is to, again, practice selections, pra practice refining the selection and figuring out um, new and different ways to combine image elements within an image um, to create a new design.